Okay, hello dear friends. So we are going to make some yogurt. The first thing to uh, heat the yogurt until it is boiling. Uh, to heat the milk until it is boiling. So put in the right amount of milk. The right amount, it usually depends on the, the container you have. So just make, after some experience, you know how much you need to put in, right? So the milk, and bring it to a boil. And this time, I will use some So this time, I will use some little glass containers. This one we got from Germany. Uh, this time when we passed through Germany, we bought some from Germany. And this one, I think is from Australia. And uh, I am pretty sure we got it from Australia and uh, took it back. It's been more than, more than six years or something. It's in Australia, a bakery shop in Chatswood, and there is a Chinese bakery, or they have those uh, um, a baked yogurt and put into this small container. It looks cute, so I bought it, and it's quite thick, so it seems quite solid and strong. It's a good good one. Yeah, if you want to look for these kind of containers, um, if you are in Australia, there must be uh, Melbourne, there must be a uh, Chinese uh, uh, bakery store. I do not know about others because I bought it in a Chinese bakery store. It's a Shengji or Shengji or, or something in Chatswood and uh, they sell very delicate little uh, bread and the cakes and this is one of their baked yogurt it's really good and this one we got from uh, from uh, uh, friends this time and i like this shape of container and there are many other kinds and in us in, in in US, here you can find glass pots in Whole Food, in other shops. Um, they have glass container. It's quite uh, good shaped, not exactly this shape, different shape, but uh, they are all good. Let me see if I have other shapes. Yeah, this is all what I have. The shapes. I have seen some other shape, and one of my friends she likes the the yogurt container, and uh, and she bought a lot of yogurt so that she can keep those containers. This is what I what I buy. I do not buy these containers by itself. It's always uh, bought together with uh, with um, with yogurt with a product. And if you want to buy individual, I think IKEA or some other places they sell uh, individual containers. Anyway, so you will find uh, the right thing to use and bring it to a boil. It takes around uh, three, it's already four minutes. It takes another four or five minutes. I will not waste your time. Let's. Uh, close the video, turn off the video and uh, see it in a bit later time. Okay, the yogurt, uh, the, the milk is coming to a boil almost. So put some heavy whipping cream to make it more tasty. And a um, little bit of sugar. Some friends ask if, uh, if we need to put that sugar not at all not at all you do not need to put this sugar at all and uh, <clears throat> it's uh, really a personal choice a personal preference you can make it plain i actually made another patch of yogurt plain yogurt 
because I want to make salad dressing and uh, <coughs> vanilla sugar. So that yogurt Another set of yogurt I made, another patch of yogurt I made without sugar, without vanilla sugar and, um, and uh, I forgot to put cream neither. So those are plain yogurt, just a plain yogurt. I can make into salad dressing with those. So close it up. You do not need to put extra, extra sugar. You do not need to put whole milk. You choose whichever you feel the most comfortable. Okay. I hope I do not mis, mis, mislead you, misguide you. And uh, yogurt is your own personal preference. Whichever flavor, it is your own personal preference. Do whichever you feel the most comfortable. Okay, the milk is boiled and cool it down. If you are in a rush, you can put into cold water bath. If not, let it cool down. And uh, we can put into cold water bath. This water can be later on used to to water the plants. So this way it takes five to ten minutes it will be cooled down so much faster. And uh, I have different kind and shapes of uh, yogurt container, nine of them. And that yogurt pot just contains nine of them, just perfect. <coughs> my my uh, thermal container, a lunchbox container, contains only nine of this, uh, contain, uh, these little yogurt pots. Perfect. And this one, I want to make the yogurt with special flavor. And this time, I, in, in France, I, made, I, I ate some uh, yogurt with noisette. So why not use... Uh, <coughs> why not use... Um, um, Nutella. So I will use... Nutella put in the, at the bottom. Oh, this Nutella is totally dried up. Nutella. This one is on finish things and uh, when it is finished it makes me feel happy when I finish a lipstick when I finish a pot of yogurt uh, 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 a bottle of jam it's a reason for celebrating I, really <laughs> I like to finish it Mm-hmm. 
No more Nutella. But I think I'll have some creme de marron. a new spoon one spoon of new creme de marron another spoon of creme de marron that's a lot another spoon of creme de marron I have three more I will use the yogurt I just made enough the 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 jelly the fruit jelly blackberry jelly I just made Can you see this is the Jelly we made. Okay. Wow, so good. My husband made it, not me. I am too lazy to do this. Oh, that's a lot. Gosh, a little bit. Criminally lot. Okay, so the yogurt is uh, oh just a little bit hot, but pretty good already. <clears throat> now we will put in the starting yogurt. And this starting yogurt, I want to show you another color of container. Don't you like this dark color? This is dark blue, light blue. It's good to have some change, right? Okay, start to boil water. It will be noisy, I'm sorry. So put in the yogurt. Gosh, that's so good, so condensed.
rid of the extra foam we do not want to have this foam Okay, getting rid of the foam and now we will start to put in our little containers. I didn't do the right calculation. There is some extra milk coming out because it's smaller. <laughs> what do I do with this? We will do it later first. <coughs> Let me see if I can find some other little cups or something.
Maybe I can put into this little bottle the leftover. I cannot find so let me first pour the water in when I find I will put it up cover it up oh there so other bottle not too short okay finally I found a little ceramic cup this will be good enough. Oh, oh, just perfect. One drop, a little bit more. One drop, too many, but uh, we can deal with it, can we? Perfect. Carefully put it here. Okay, so you can find different substitute for your little yogurt pot goes so this is tight enough everyone stuck in tucking put a little bit more of hot water still good okay it will it is on its way to develop see you later alligator i made it i'm happy bye bye friends see you in 10 hours okay dear friends this is the second day all the uh, yogurt is made the <coughs> syrup is made all good i will have a test of it so this is the yogurt it does not look that good because the acidity is not 
um, is not uh, uh, <coughs> very favorable for the development. So if you go to shop, even in the shop, you see uh, some um, <coughs> fruit on the bottom. If it is like this, it's all natural because it's, uh, um, it is like this. It's nothing wrong with it. There is no, no uh, spoiled development in it. It's just uh, naturally it is. It looks like this. And uh, this one is Nutella. Nutella does not have any, um, does not have that much acidity in it. So uh, the yogurt is developed quite well. And this is creme de marron also. I put a lot, a little bit too much. And this one is plain. We will use this for testing with the, um, the yogurt, uh, uh, the <coughs> blackberry uh, syrup, the coolie. Okay, we will try this one first. Yogurt is so good. We can eat to the bottom and then, mmm, that's very good, very good. So this is typical um, <coughs> milk development in the acid uh, condition. You, if you drink orange juice, put orange juice into the milk, it comes out like this, a little bit curdy. It's acid and milk development. Now we will take a look at this one. This one is the Nutella. Need to wash a little bit of the spoon. Anyway, this is the upper part, the creamy part, cream top. It's very delicious, delicious, but not that healthy. Mmm, Nutella at the bottom. Mm. Nutella is a little bit dry, so it's not uh, mm, not well blended. You can all blend and make it a very even texture like this. That is an even texture. Mm, this is my... <coughs> this is the yogurt as much as <coughs> as uh, good as I ate in Frankfurt München in Munich airport. This idea comes from when we had uh, <coughs> our stopover in Munich and uh, we went to the airport lounge and uh, they have this kind of yogurt. So we bought, uh, so we ate some and I felt it so delicious. So I decided to make with my Nutella when I come back home. And uh, this is, this is it, very good. And this one is creme de marron. And also in France, we <coughs> went to a um, yogurt shop and, uh, <coughs> not yogurt shop, a supermarket. They sell yogurt and one is with creme de marron on the bottom. So very delicious. You can see, if you blend it, if you do not blend it, it's like this. Mm. Blend it a little bit. Bring it up. It does not change color that much because uh, creme de marron, uh, the chestnut, chestnut uh, <coughs> paste does not have that much color as uh, a blackberry or something but the taste is so good 
I need to take a picture of it. Gosh, so good. And this one is plain yogurt. Remember, we have some left over. Yeah, I fell it down. So it turned over. Very good. <coughs> and we will put some of this coolie. <gasps> Better I put on top of a, a plate. The coolie is so disastrous if it drops onto the... Oh, look at it. Beautiful. Okay, that's enough. This one need to be refrigerated. I actually should do two video because it's uh, very good. I will stop and this one is for another video.